Okay, well, first, uh, you have to congratulate North Carolina. I mean, they played a great game. Uh, you know, the game that Ingram and Baycott had, you know, they have 46 points and 23 rebounds between the two of them. They were great. Um, thought their defense bothered us in the first half, but the, the main story for me was uh, the loose balls. You know, just as you look throughout the game, uh, they were hungrier to get them, and uh, it turned into... You know, I'll go back and watch the film and see, but I bet close to 15, maybe even 20 points. And uh, you have to give them credit for that. You know, they have a really good team. Uh, they played really well together. Their defense is terrific. Uh, and still, we score 84 points. You know, we, we can score. Our thing was getting stops tonight, which we just could not do. And uh, transition, they, they push it hard. We had probably some miscommunication there. And uh, I just wasn't happy with the, with the way we competed. And uh, that's, that's disappointing for me. And, uh, you know, you can look, you can play really well and compete your, your butt off and still lose to them because they're a really good team. But we didn't compete to the level that you need to to have a chance to be this team tonight. And that's what I'm disappointed about. But hats off to them. They were terrific. Uh, they're really good, and I think they're as good as anybody. And uh, we have to learn from this quickly, uh, make no excuses, get back to work, and know there's second half of ACC play to go where uh, this team can be really good. But uh, tonight was uh, not good enough for me or for our program, for our team. Well, he was relentless. Just the loose balls that I'm talking about, Steve, I mean, he got a lot of them. I don't know how many, but he got a lot. And uh, he played with uh, a great energy, great physicality. Uh, he's relentless going after the ball. And then when he's chewing the way that he did tonight, uh, it's, it's, it's a really good player and bottom line. And uh, that's, that's it. Yeah, you know, it's it's uh, we did fine, but it, it doesn't matter how you do against Davis if Baycott and Ingram have 46. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's it's points at the end of the day, and you know he's still going to get his, which he did late. I thought in the first half we did a really good job. Um, we just had to rebound, get back in transition, and get the 50-50 balls, and we didn't do that. But. Uh, RJ's going to get his points. You know, he did tonight, but uh, I thought the defense throughout was really good. I thought when we got down, we gambled a little bit and gave him some open looks. But overall, the defense was fine. John Taylor on the calls. What was the reason for the lack of effort or him out efforting you? You know, if, uh, it's, uh, I don't know. You know, if, if I knew right now, I wish uh, I would have done something about it. And uh, we just didn't come out with that. Uh, Look, in this game, in any game, when you play on the road, whoever, you're playing a really good team, you can make some mistakes. There can be, uh, you know, you can be a little tight at times, and both teams, I've seen that for 15 years in this game. All that's normal. But uh, what's not normal is to not lay it all on the line, you know, the way that you need to. And uh, so for me as a coach, I want to watch the film digest and get some answers, but I can promise you this isn't going to be a thing we continue to do. You know, this is going to be a one-time thing for me. And uh, get back to it on Monday, practice, and uh, get ready for our game on Wednesday and compete our butts off. What did Jared McCain show you tonight? Jared's an absolute warrior, man. Jared McCain competes every single play. And, look, did he make mistakes out there? Sure, that's, that's the game of basketball, you make mistakes. He just competes every play. And, you know, he has... He leads us in rebounding, you know, leads us in scoring, which is great. For me, it's not about the scoring, though. It's just about his competitive nature. It's about how he's always talking. He's always upbeat and trying to make plays. And uh, he didn't show me anything new in that sense tonight. That's just who he is all the time, every single day in practice, every single day. After every game, he comes back and shoots. In the mornings, he comes in. Uh, after practice, he has a routine. Every day he does. So he's the same way all the time, the same way. And uh, Jared laid it on the line tonight, and that's what you want. Coach, I'll let you know something. Unless the team has that lack of effort and that lack of competitiveness, what do you do as a coach to make sure that they're 
Yeah, no, I have to, I have to be on them and get back to it on Monday. You know, it's, it's, uh, you know, for our team. Look, we've had. Uh, end of the day, when I say this, this is my responsibility. This is our responsibility. But uh, you have to compete. You still have to bring it. And for us, we have to get back to work on, in practice on Monday. I know the teams I've played on, coached on, uh, the team the last year and a half, we compete. Like We compete, we show up. Tonight wasn't the level it should be. We got to learn from it like we do every game, take responsibility. That includes coaches, that includes players, and get back to work on Monday. There's, there's no, it takes what it takes. You got to put the work in. You have to get back to it, and that's it. I'm not sure. You know, it's uh, we need him to be really good. He is really good. Uh, one, he's, he did a really good job guarding Davis, and that can wear you out. That's part of it. Um, and for me, I have to watch the film to see. But knowing Tyrese, he's going to bounce back again on Wednesday. That's what he's made out of. It's what he's shown for a year and a half. Obviously, he didn't have his best game tonight. But I believe in him. And look, I really believe in this team. Like the thing I've said throughout this year, uh, this group hasn't gotten it perfect all the time, you know, and the core group is back from last year. Uh, they always respond, though. They always respond. And so for me, I'm looking forward to see how we respond on Monday, practice on Tuesday, and then getting ready for our game on Wednesday. That's what, that's what this is about for me. Thanks, all right. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks.